Welcome back to Supers Live. It's time for the post race wrap up brought to you by Wags Custom and Cool Awards. And tonight, Dave O not only becomes the or sweeps the night, becomes the fourth driver to do so in Supers history. He also has the Supers bounty put on his head, and then he gains some more points by winning the second race of the night. Unstoppable six races in a row. First of all, Dave, congratulations. A great run for you here tonight at Oswego Speedway in both NASCAR Heat and R Factor. Of the two races, uh, which was the most fun for you out there tonight? Uh, let's go with the R Factor one by far. Uh, the Heat race was a mess, to put it gently. It certainly was uh, quite uh, stressful out there with the lap traffic. Lap traffic not easy in the R Factor race either, with all the cautions. Uh, didn't get into a lot of it out there, but were there any close calls? For the R Factor or the Heat race? For the R Factor race. R Factor race, not so much. Uh, I mean, yeah, it came up on them pretty quick. Uh, and it got tight off the corners, but um, nothing really too terribly close for that one. Dave, now you've got six in a row. Uh, there is just doesn't seem to be any stop at the TMS Wolfpack number eleven here tonight. Close one in the in the second feature. Uh, how much damage did you have on that car? Oh, the car was junk. It was full front spoiler on lap nine when I come up on two cars flipping through the air on the front stretch. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know how you manage that at a short track like this with these cars, but they manage it. Yeah, that was certainly uh, something to behold. We wondered if maybe you got a piece of that or not. Knew it was going to be awful close. Oh, but when it's all said and done, though, you come home with uh, a Super Charger bonus tonight in the first race. Uh, bonus points for sweeping the night. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much insurmountable now for you to, to not win the Supers Championship the non-wing season. I know there's a lot of people that have helped you get to this point uh, in your sim racing career. Let's give them a shout-out here now in uh, Victory Lane. Oh, I wouldn't say insurmountable next week's double points, and uh, you never know with these races now. Uh, but yeah, just shout out to Heat Finder and, and the Mod Squad. Um, I was I, I, I just have no words after tonight. I that didn't go as planned at all. It was, uh, I'll just leave it there. Well, it may not have gone as planned, but uh, it certainly went well for Dave O, your winner in the TMS Wolfpack number 11. Let's talk to the guy that finished in second place in both races. Uh, he knows what it feels like to sweep the events here in the Supers Independence Day Twin 35s. Rocket Rob Orr, congratulations. Uh, survival of the fittest out there tonight for sure. And uh, you were able to do it. Boy, you got close to pulling off a win in the second one with all that damage that Dave O had. But you... Had an awfully damaged race car as well. Uh, throughout the evening, had some good racing. How do you feel about coming home in second place for both of these here tonight? Dave fairly summed it up fairly well. Uh, the first one, um, guys were driving in way over their heads, and I could get into the corner better than most. And then they'd chop me off uh, post-Apex. So I'd have to get on the binders and not uh, wreck my car. I got fairly lucky in the first one, had just a little bit of uh, right side nerf bar damage from someone being uh, catastrophically foolish. Um, couldn't keep up with Dave in the R Factor race. Uh, who can? Uh, ran his setup and I still couldn't do it. But again, his driving style is way different than mine. So I was just trying to keep the, the back end underneath me. So uh, happy to finish second, coming from uh, what, fifth? And I think it dropped back to seventh while Dave leapt to first in the first lap and a half. Um, the slow cars on the start of the R Factor race was uh, it just trying to keep the car clean and go into the back at the same time uh, was not really conducive. But it was kind of fun to uh, slip, slide, move, and get out of the way of uh, everything that was going on. And then in the second one, man, I caught Dave with a head of steam because... I didn't know how bad his car was, but I knew I chopped off seconds, whatever it was. Whatever the lead he had was, I chopped it off. And then it was like trying to drive against Ray Sand Jr., um, except Ray's car never had that much damage. So it's like I'm, I'm trying to find a way by, 
and I hadn't run NASCAR heat since the wing season. So uh, I wasn't having any luck. Um, I was trying to arc entry and drive off underneath him. And I could get my right front to his left rear, but I really couldn't couldn't show him enough to to make him, uh, you know, stay up in, in the second group. And even if I could, he probably drove around me anyways. He's that good, even with a ref race car. But uh, real quick, got to thank heatfinders.net. The Mod Squad, Supers.net for putting on the shows. Icing's on top for the awesome, awesome gratuities. And Breeze Graphics for uh, KT putting on the show. Rocket Rob Warren, second place both races. Now here's a guy that's going to be pretty happy no matter what happened tonight. Uh, the first race <laughs> was one that he was looking to uh, uh, finish because he hadn't finished an R-Factor race all season long. In fact, in four races, uh, he'd only finished one. So Keith Powell, a tickle pink, I'm sure, to be able to come home uh, on the podium. But uh, most of all, just being able to finish that R-Factor race. How's it feel to get that CPR Motorsports Icings on Top machine on the podium here tonight at Oswego? Yeah, thanks, Bobby. It does feel pretty good to uh, put on the podium for both races after... Uh, just a horrendous start of the season. Um, yeah, you just you just are left scratching your head, and you look forward to the next week. So that's what we did. We put our head down and had uh, good cars, you know, both in our factor and heat. Um, they they were beat up, of course. I think everybody's cars was beat up um, in both races, but uh, the first race we had a pretty fun race between me and rob there and i was able to slip by him when uh we caught a a, a lap or two lap cars and squirted kind of through and that uh, but my car just needed four four or five laps and once we get up to like four or five maybe six laps of green the car should come out and he got me on one of the restarts. I think a lap in on one of the restarts. It was just a full send in the three without even touching me. And that's, I really miss that racing with Rob. Um, it seems like it's been a long time since it was, uh, you know, me and Rob could battle on the track. Um, but uh, so congrats to Davo and Rob for uh, first and second, both races. Second race. I had a beat-up car, but I think everybody started getting beat-up cars, and me and you had one heck of a battle, I think, all race long, and then next thing you know, me and you was catching two black cars, and I was like, wow, the only black cars I think of is Dave and Rob. I looked up at the splits, and I can't believe it. Top four was there under a blanket with five to go. We just, you know, come up on lap traffic again, so... um it's just kind of nature of the beast. But, yeah, I think I'm the only one happy with the beat-up car tonight. But I'll take it after the, you know, how we started the season off. I want to thank uh, Supers, Mod Squad, Heat Finder. I uh, want to thank KT and Breeze Graphics, Hairbag Studios. Uh, got to thank Rob, First Fish Servers, Flawless, like always. And uh, I just... Uh, I kind of hope, you know, um, everybody just has a nice 4th of July weekend, and we, uh, we'll see what happens next week. Keith, put one on your pile. Happy to be on the podium. Happy to finish the race here tonight. So the second week, uh, a whole lot of carnage out there. Two weeks in a row in Supers competition, but at the end of the night, the guy that is able to uh, make the best of the rest is Dave O out of Union, Connecticut, a great run for Speedy Man here tonight. Sweeps the night, and the Supers Bounty continues on to next week's mid-season championship. Double points, 100 laps, R-Factor, non-wing Super Bonafide Sim Racing coming at you on the Supers Broadcasting Network. So until next week, congratulations again to Dave O, and thank you, thank you, thank you to First to Finish Race Servers for providing NASCAR Heat, R-Factor, and T-Speak servers tonight that were simply flawless. Thanks also to CPR Motorsports and Icings on Top for their donations to the Supers Rookie of the Year Award and the Supers Triple Crown Award. And thanks to Hairbag Studios and Kevin Timmons 
Boy, he was turning some knobs tonight, trying to keep up with all the action. Thanks so much to all of you for just the great things that you do for us. And uh, we appreciate each and every one of you fans for joining us here tonight on the Supers Broadcasting Network. And remember, love your country. No matter where you're at, no matter what's going on, it's still the greatest country in the world. And it's because of our liberties and our freedom. And we appreciate uh, the ability to, to, to live free in a wonderful country. So until next week for the Mid-Season Championship, again, our hearts go out to the Becker and Buchanan families. And uh, we want to just say uh, we hope that you can keep it wing side up and wheels to the ground. Someone you love I've been around